Hello friends, this video on P block elements part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If you talk about the melting and boiling point trends, see trends in melting point is not regular. This is not regular. But the trend in boiling point is almost regular. Why? See, I'll show you why. See, melting point is what? Melting point is the amount of energy required to break the bonds to change solid phase to liquid phase, right? So, melting point is amount of energy required to break bonds, break bonds in such a way that you move from solid to liquid state correct now if you see thus it will all depend on the structure how efficient the packing is right so since this is just the amount of energy required to break the bond for example i have uh, carbon right if you see the carbon it is all bonded with other carbon you must have seen the tetrahedron structure of carbon in the graphite and diamond right both are carbon but both have different melting point why why both have different melting point because of the structure in which the carbon is bonded diamond is very hard because it is a very hard compact structure right so so in uh, graphite one of the electron is uh, uh, non bonded so it is a little, uh, loosely structured as compared to my diamond. So in that case the melting point of uh, diamond and graphite is different. But you see both are carbon. Correct. The, the melting point depends on what the efficient packing the packing structure actually. Correct. Thus if you see it depends on other force. It depends on a lot of force. That is uh, my uh, force of attraction between molecules. Force of attraction between molecules. And thus, it doesn't show any trend. The melting point will not show any trend. Correct. As, as I told, carbon, they form complex structure and they have very high melting point. Now, if you talk about nitrogen N2, so in nitrogen dimerize, so this is one stable compound and this is one stable. So if you see there is no, not much interaction between these two, right? So since because of dimerization, nitrogen will have low melting point. But if you talk about the structure of carbon, it will be something like this, right? It will be all bonded, it will form a cage-like complex structure. So in this case, it's difficult to break this bond. But in this case, you don't need to break bond actually because this is one small unit, one small unit and they are all independent. Correct. Thus, we say that melting point will not show any regular trend. Why? Once again, because the melting point is the amount of energy required to break bonds to convert solid to liquid. It depends on the efficient packing and the force of attraction in the molecules. So the packing is very efficient. It will have high melting point. The packing is not with complex, it will have low melting point. Correct. So if you see from nitrogen, the melting point is 63. And if you go to phosphorus, the increase, there is again an increase and there is a decrease. If you see, it is not following a trend. The melting point increased from nitrogen phosphorus to arsenic. And then in antimony, it decreased. And then bismuth again it decreased. Correct. Why? Because nitrogen, phosphorus and arsenic, they all exist as different structural unit. Nitrogen is N2, phosphorus P4. These all exist as a different structural unit. It's in itself. Right? There is not much force of attraction. So you need very less energy to break it. So the point I'm trying to say prove here is that in the melting point you will not see a trend in the periodic table because the melting point depends on other factors like complex structure, efficiency of packing 
the force of attraction between molecules all these factors uh, play a role in deciding the melting point but when you talk about the boiling point when you talk about the boiling point my boiling point that is the energy required to break the remaining attractive force that is energy required to break remaining attractive force so that is my boiling point so that my particles can move freely apart right so in that case my vapor pressure is equal to my atmospheric pressure if it is open uh, uh, container right vapor pressure is almost equal to the external pressure external That is my boiling point. So, but boiling point, you see, it, it, it talks about remaining the breaking the the remaining attraction for attractive force. So, in that case, you will see there's a trend. So if you see the boiling point increase from nitrogen to phosphorus, again increase phosphorus to arsenic, again increase from arsenic to antimony, and again almost a little bit increase, almost same from uh, arsenic to vesper. Okay. So that's all about melting point and boiling point. The next is atomic and the ionic radii. So from nitrogen to phosphorus, there is a huge increase. If you talk about nitrogen to phosphorus, almost double, right? Almost I can say 80% increase. 80% increase. But from phosphorus to arsenic, the increase is less, is almost 10%. Uh, Right, ten percent. So this is yeah, almost ten percent. So the rate of increase has decreased. This also is almost um, 10, 15 percent, I can say, but this is almost less, very less. This is almost uh, five percent. Right, one forty one to one forty is almost five percent. So you see, the rate of increase was eighty percent from nitrogen to phosphorus. But the rate of increase has decreased as we go down the group. So the atomic radius, or the atomic radii will increase as we go down the group, but the rate of increase decrease. Why? Because of the presence of filled d or f orbitals. As I've told, in this case there was no d orbital. Here we have d orbital and empty f orbital, right? And then it is all because of this is no d orbital. This has d orbital, no f orbital. This has d and f, but this is empty. This is filled. So because of all these factors, right? Uh, you have empty or filled d and f orbitals in the heavy elements. What happens is the rate of increase of the radii decrease. Right? That's how it is. So the atomic radii has increased as you go down, but the rate of increase decrease. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.